Hey guys, it's Erica. My it started playing without me saying play. We gonna be checking out Jay Park and Wiz Khalifa's Break Your Heart. Very excited for this. I feel like where's Wiz Khalifa been? Has he been making music? These like I'm, I'm sure he has. Right? I just he just I just haven't heard about him in a hot minute and stuff. And I'm not so well versed into like the hip hop scene, or I'm not the biggest Wiz Khalifa fan. But you know he had his time in the spotlight, black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow. Um, and I'm very excited to be seeing this with uh to see jay park collaborate with more big western artists very excited uh so yeah and i did this is like only an audio for this um but i what i don't have the lyrics up because i assume it's all gonna be in english unless jay throws me a curveball he could um but yeah but i'm very excited to be checking this out either way seeing this collaboration checking it out because it's been a hot minute since i've checked anything new for was khalifa so yeah you know jay drops stuff he sprinkles stuff around these days so yeah very excited so you know what it like up beats fun who produced it though Yeah, what's Khalifa? Where, where's the new hot record? I'm feeling it. Beats fire. Was Khalifa's killing the hog? Try to focus on what they're saying this time around. Cause you know me. Sometimes I'm like, oh, I forgot the song was in English and I was supposed to pay attention to the lyrics. This, yeah, no, this could definitely be playing on the radio and stuff. Like right after they play 100 Ways After Jackson Wang, this song, it makes sense. I wouldn't question it. My, my local pop, hip hop, and R&B radio stations would be bumping this track. It just feels like it's that vibe. So that's really cool. Okay, Jam Park just came in with a smooth vocal, girl. I wasn't ready. It is a nice contrast to get his smooth vocals with Wiz Khalifa's little rougher, like right here. Like I like it. Like Jay Park doing more straight up singing than Wiz here, but it's nice. I like it when they do it together. Super dope. Really dope. Whoever produced a track did a super, super duper sick job my light is going to die because it's flashing on me um but it, it didn't look like it was gonna die earlier anyways i dropped it so maybe that's why it was flickering on me um anyways uh i'll just go until my light dies i guess i really think the song was dope whoever produced it did a super duper super duper sick my phone over there i'll look it up later um did a super duper dope job i don't know if it was a korean producer or if it was a western producer either way it was really dope was khalifa killed it he did his thing he hopped on the track and did his thing and jay park did his thing too as well i personally 
prefer Jay Park's part over Wiz Khalifa. Um, I don't know. I would just feel it a little bit more. And it could be 100% completely biased, but I don't feel like it's like biased. I just feel like his was a little bit uh, stronger than Wiz's and stuff like that. Like, I don't know what it was about it, just, but it's also nice to get that contrast because Wiz Khalifa has, he doesn't have like a rough voice and stuff, but his is so different and it's contrasted with Jay Park's smooth, smooth with an F vocals over here and stuff, but then when they start doing the hook together, that was really, really nice, and it was nice to hear them do that together. And the contrast is really nice between their voices and stuff, like, but on, on like the same track, it was really, really dope, and I really enjoyed it. I thought it was super sick. Beat was dope. They each both respectively killed it in their own ways and stuff. It was really dope, and so I prefer J Park's verse over Wiz's. No, but like I kind of would like Wiz on the hook and stuff, you know what I mean? And stuff, even though Jay Park didn't have a hook, the hook to himself, he never sang it all completely himself. I really liked it. I liked Wiz doing the hook, is what I'm trying to say. And when Jay Park was singing over it, it was nice. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm not, I don't hate Wiz Khalifa and stuff, but my light died. That's why it's changed and why it looks super duper white. Um, but, <laughs> but and I'm too, I'm we're just gonna roll with it. It's the end of the video, anyways. Um, I like this part. I don't like again, like. I'm not trying to like make it seem like I'm hating on Wiz Khalifa because I was a fan of him back in my days of the middle school and the high schools. He was killing it and stuff, but it's been a hot minute since I've heard anything from Wiz Khalifa. It just hasn't been super popular and mainstream enough for me to catch up. But then again, like I'm not in as much into the wheelhouse of as immersed in hip hop as I once was. You know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, but I think it's a really dope track either way. I think they both killed it. I really like this collaboration and this. I think it was super duper dope and I just, I overall really enjoyed it. So yes, I look like ghostly. Like this lighting is horrible. I apologize. I'm gonna fix it in post. Go to period thoughts in the comments down below. What you thought about Jay Park and Wiz Khalifa's Break Your Heart. If you liked this video, give this video a thumbs up. If you liked me, want to see more of my videos, go and hit the subscribe button. If you want to see my videos the second they come out, hit that notification button. If you want to follow me on social media, Twitter, Instagram, such as TikTok, or description down below, or at the end screen, share this video with your friends. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Love you and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.